I'm chopping, eyes glowing red. I am the one hiding under your stairs. Fingers like snakes and spiders in my hair. This is Halloween, this is Halloween, 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 Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to uh, tonight's stream. Strangely enough, more or less on time. Uh, hope everybody is doing well this evening. We are back with more Doom 3. Let's see, let me actually turn the volume back up on that. Hope everybody is doing well and enjoying Spooktober as it goes. Off, which was, yeah, just about 10 o'clock last night. I think we had just moved through, yeah, we had just moved through the first part of recycling. We're on our way to Delta Labs. Because that's where, that's where the uh, teleport happened. We're supposed to meet up, meet up with uh, Master Sergeant Kelly. I think it was Master Sergeant. I know his last name is Kelly, and he holds the rank of Sergeant. I don't remember. And we had just picked up a rocket launcher, so we've got. I think we're only missing like one more weapon. I think no, two more weapons, and then we'll have all of them. We're missing the uh, the BFG and the Soul Cube. Because we got a plasma gun, yeah. Which is almost, almost an upgraded uh, um, chain gun for its level of damage. Is everybody looking forward to this weekend? I'm probably, I am both looking forward to it and not looking forward to it, if that makes any sense whatsoever. <clears throat> I am ready to get two days off but get two some days off but I'm not looking forward to having to deal with uh, I have to do some forced overtime this weekend it's going to be a very long overtime shift Can't you see it? All of it. And we're about to we're about to shred some serious some serious demons. Well, you'll get it here in a bit. Give me a minute. We're gonna read some 
We're going to sit and read some boring emails first. Henry Valera, pump malfunction. Jeff, the main waste processing unit here in Sector 1 is running at a higher pressure level than was rated for. I'm very concerned about the stability of the whole system. One fault or stress fracture in any of the lines can cause doom for the whole mechanism. Doom! This processing system here was never designed to process that much waste, but they keep shipping it to us. We urgently need a new pump here before this one fails. Thank you, Henry. Greg Brandenburg, Toxic Waste Storage. Mr. Moen, it is very important that you remember to store toxic waste barrels in their proper location. Having volatile substances so close to where people work is very dangerous, especially around doorways and narrow passages. If one of those barrels exploded, it could cause a lot of damage, and someone might get seriously hurt, or worse, killed. Please address this problem immediately, or worse, expelled Brandenburg. No audio. Reactivate primary. Making progress, are we? Maybe. It's such a hurry to find this, to find me. There's no need to rush. I am everywhere, and everything here is mine. Who's that behind him? We thank you for alerting the fleet, for warning them. You're such a fool. They're racing here, racing to us. And oh, hello. Waiting. Waiting for them to fall into their worst nightmare. They will join my legion, and with their ships, I will bring this hell to Earth. You won't live to see it, and you will die long before you have a chance to warn them. Really? Something is.
did not kill you. Gallifrey, um, Pat Warm. I heard, I heard some stuff about the weather this weekend. So you probably are going to need to make sure to wear layers. Air filtration. God damn it! It's like a conga line of bad guys. know that I just don't I don't want people to be caught unawares I figure that you're gonna be wearing several layers anyway I heard that talking about last night. Fucking baby was with fly wings. Did you do you have enough tobacco for this week? That is a very important Okay with this. I'm also not okay with that. Whatever the fuck that sound is. No, oh, wait, I know what that sound is. I remember now. We're in boss fight territory, bullshit. Children. A boss fight that will eventually become a regular enemy later on. It's a mancubus! Fuck you!
Ow, ow, ow. Oh, medkit. Oh, medkit. There we go. Rockets, cells, armor, medkit. Just pick up all the shit in here because we're gonna need it. And auto saves. Man, this thing is auto saving constantly. Okay, relocked armaments. It's an excellent idea. Can't be too careful. Four eight three I think is about this line. Yep, this is the one that we were just at, actually. Aha! Could use some help. Monorail. 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 Are you all prepped and ready to go, or are you just and just chilling, or are you still packing? Figuring, knowing you, knowing how many years you've done this, you're already packed and everything, and you're just lounging. <laughs> Packages. You know, if I had a dollar for every loading screen I had to sit through. Yeah, I figured. Also, this shit. There is no death for you. You still need more dollars? No. Um, yes. Sam Harding. What you got to say for yourself, Sam? James to Riven, door repair. Sam, I completed the repairs on door A32 today. It should open more smoothly. On a separate note, did you see those artifacts that the science team recently shipped into the Delta Complex? I don't know what they were, but I certainly don't like them being transported outside of the cargo crates. It just creeps me out seeing them, knowing that we are working above some sort of alien room. Just the thought of what might be lurking in those caves gives me shivers. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overreacting. Carl Cullen, turret mounting brackets. Harding, I need you to check the mounting brackets on the turret gun here in security. They seem to be rattling when the turret moves. Thank you for the repairs so quickly. Carl, I fixed the mounting bracket this morning. There's no d those damn mix and bolts again. I really wish the UHC would find a better subcontractor. Why does this feel so real? It's like I've worked a maintenance job. This is the audio log of engineer Sam Harding. That sounds like a lot of my coworkers. 145. I have just completed repairs on the magnetic locks and have significantly reprogrammed the pressure sensors on the monorail systems. My fellow engineers and I are confident that the accident of last week will never happen again. 
The accident should never have happened in the first place. The internal sensors led the computers to believe that there was a vacuum inside the vehicle. Unfortunately, the computer decided that the only way to fix this pressure discrepancy was to open all doors in an attempt to equalize pressure with the outside. I'm going over 15,000 lines of code today. I can see no reason for this tragic event to have occurred. A lot of blood. But somehow, the logs show the discrepancy is clear as day. Honestly, this looks to me like another case of a solid system going to hell in a handbasket. I'm confident that the layers of protection I added to the code today will prevent any such occurrences from happening again. Interesting effect. I'm off to meet engineer Jim Torben at the access doors to the Delta Complex platform to try and troubleshoot a faulty track sensor that's been causing the door to stick. Now leaving Environmental Reprocessing Center. Next stop, Site 2. Who are you? What are you doing? I was waiting here on the train for my partner. He went to investigate what was going on, but he never came back. And now I don't, I don't know where he is. I don't know what the hell's going on. But I bet it has to do with those artifacts we were digging up at Site 2. I bet they're somehow connected with those things. No the shit, Delta really? Complex. Remember, safety first. Please do not exit the vehicle without wearing proper environmental protection. In the event of an emergency stop, Marsec will be dispatched immediately for your safety. Have a nice day. The Delta Complex isn't now safe. Entering you're crazy if you're going there. Well, I kind of have to. Yeah, the game Warning. requires it. Malfunction. Please contact engineering to facilitate repairs. Thank you, and have a nice day. Why did it switch me to a different shot? <laughs> ah! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Was not ready for that. Trites! Okay, door. I think that was a little bit of an overkill, but... Now we're starting to get into it, man. It's gonna stop being, um... Fuck! It's gonna stop being real horror and start being action horror. Security ADS operation. This is a quick note to remind you that the new automated defense system in the Delta Labs entrance is fully operational. Please contact Delta Security with any questions. Uh, Security Central re airlock request. The original message Site 2 engineering team will be conducting a few tests on the J5 airlock system next week. We will need to manually override the ARSS for these tests and request the emergent or request the input code to be updated to 826. Remember that chat, 826. As you request the Junction 5 Site 2 airlock code has been updated to 826, this will allow you to manually override automated rail sensor systems allowing you to open any track.
No way to avoid that. means go faster. <laughs> Hollies. Mr. Hollies, as you requested, I've placed all remaining ammunition from security's team station at site 2 into storage cabinet 054. Door code is 142. Mr. Hollies, I would like to report that the main tunnel passage to site 2 has been sealed. I will transfer the door codes to the archaeological division today. For all practical purposes, the dig site is now closed for good. Phil Wilson, artifact inventory track. Charlie Hollies, we received a few artifacts from site 2. Without proper discovery and time and date information on them, it's very difficult to process all these pieces uh, when we don't know where or when they are uncovered. Please check your records and send the requested information back to me on the archives. This is the audio log of Charles Hollis, EAP Director, dated September 5th, 2145. In order to conserve current life support resources, effective October 1st, 2145, the Council has made a decision that all environment processors be brought offline in the general area of Site 2. Tomorrow, I will be sending out emails to all team leaders asking for an update on their asset relocation program to Site 3. We feel that we have unearthed enough useful material as it pertains to the project from Site 2, and choose to now devote resources in the exploration of Site 3. End log recording. Eight two six. Airlock security override enabled. Watching the Doom, the Doom uh, trailer, and uh, one of the things, one of the comments that was made. Now leaving site two. Next stop, Delta Complex. Um. Oh hi. It was the uh, the Doom Slayer people saying like, "No shit, no shit." Doomslayer, like, like, they aren't your people anymore. Being told, you know, they aren't your people anymore. You will face the wrath of heaven. And the Doomslayer responding with, "Don't threaten me with a good time." All 
All right, you want some, huh? I don't know if you've seen those, if you've seen those, uh, the trailer for that yet, uh, Gallifrey, but I find it rather fun. It's good. Uh, just look at the story trailer. Uh, the story trailer for Doom Eternal is, is, like, it makes, I'm just gonna say it, I get a boner. I've got such, such a, such a, uh, FPS boner. Fuck you! God damn it, get out of my way! Fucking lock me in a corner. <laughs> Pretty much. What are you up to, Nix? Staying out of trouble or making trouble? Well, I'm thinking your laptop. Reading for Red, Red Dead 2. Yeah, I, it looks cool, man, but I mean, 150 gigs, dude. 150 gigs. I don't know. Granted, you know, I'm currently got a whole bunch of games on my computer. I've got more than that for, uh, just for mods on, like, Fallout 4. But it's one of those, like... I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of really cold. I'm, I'm, I'm really cold on Rockstar. I'm really cold on everyone right now, especially Blizzard. Security Authority, new automated defense systems. Mr. Colin, please inform your team. I take it back. I am, I am hoping that Dragon Age Four doesn't suck. I'll, I'll make that because I, I feel that. If Bioware works hard at it and takes the lessons from Anthem and Andromeda to heart, then it will be good. Please inform your team that an automated security security gun turret, turret gun will be installed in the main entrance to Delta. This is due to the increased sensitivity, increased, increased sensitive nature of the experiments and the security problems we've had recently. That's fair. Please ensure that your team members have correct security clearance and are in the IFF database. We don't want to repeat what happened when they had guns installed at Marine Command. Chris Bauman. Re turret shutdown codes. Guys, I've encoded the shutdown sequence for the turret gun into my PDA. You can use it at the security terminal of metal detectors. If there are any problems with the gun, with the gun, I would rather have it offline than killing anyone. Yeah, that just seems really weird that they wouldn't release that on PC. Carl, as the medical supervisor for this section, I feel it is my obligation to be proactive in regards to the safety, especially now that we have turret gun, have a turret gun in the heavy traffic area. As a precaution, I have stocked medical supplies in the storage cabinets adjacent to the security office. Both cabinet codes are 364, but we never need to use them. Lee Pomeroy, medical supervisor. Fixed the mounting brackets this morning. We've already seen that one. Mr. Cullen, we're going to be transporting a large specimen from Delta. Normally, we would be using the monorail, but we need to get it to the Phobos lab, and this is our only option. The specimen will be sedated. However, given both the importance and the hazardous nature of it, we feel it is prudent to have an enhanced security presence. You and your men should be prepared with fully with full armor and plasma guns. However, lethal force should only be used as a last resort. 
Bringing the thing alive through the teleporter costs seven men their lives, and would be a shame to waste that effort. Also, as you know, there are plenty of rumors about our specimens. I do not want this to get out of control. Information about this transport must be kept to only those who need to know what is in this container. Thank you for your cooperation in this. Alright, so one more time, we're going to... Shutdown code is... Oh, it's just use PDF. Okay. Okay, well, what was the... Uh, medical supplies 364. Alright, I remember this part. This is where shit gets fucky. Destroy. So you use a destroy command and all you summon is a fucking imp? Warning, automated turret guns online. Attention, automated turret guns offline. Of course, now that I've... Now that I've officially uh, turned it off, everything spawns in. Six four. saying that, but seriously, that's a dead man. A dead man with a shotgun. Delta Labs 1. So this is where the shit went down. So I read, read an interesting theory today that was the Doom guy from all of the different Doom games is the same guy, and it is the same story, except it's a dude jumping from universe to universe to universe, a la, um, what am I trying to say, a la, uh, Booker from Bioshock Infinite. Spoilers alert if you haven't played Bioshock Infinite. Um, and everybody's dead. 
More power to the Delta Labs. I don't know, man. Powering the Delta Labs was like what got us here in the first place. Price at key PJ net. Did you get it? Hey Rob, it's me again. Why haven't you written me back? I sent your old books and shit to you via the UAC. Did you get them? It sure is nice to get all that crap out of the living area. Donated a lot of other stuff to the charity place too. In six months when you come back, you'll see the difference. Anyway, please write back soon. I'm lonely down here. See ya, Tanya. Re, you guys experiencing this? Ryan S. Robert, I know exactly what you're talking about, although not nearly as frequently as you're describing. I'll follow up with you after I do a little investigating, but it is certainly weird. Hi, Ryan. Are you guys getting strange sounds coming through the walls and floors? We've been getting all... We've been getting all this all over the base the last couple of days. I think it's worse than the lower levels of Delta, but we can't pinpoint what the origin is. Anyway, I'm just checking in with the others around the base. All Delta operations. This is the audio log of Robert Price, Delta Operational Director in charge of personnel, recruitment, evaluation, and placement. The assignment of engineers to the lower Delta Labs has become almost impossible. In six months, we've gone from a volunteer surplus to a critical deficiency of qualified personnel willing to accept assignment. Increases in both pay and benefits have done little to help this situation. Through exit interviews as well as the weekly Delta Medical Day, it's become apparent to everyone that the rate of sudden and unexpected drugs is way beyond acceptable levels. Their derogatory totally being being called sub-delts up here, and I have a feeling this attitude will spread through other parts of the UAC. And the base is breathing. Guys, the base is being creepy at me. This is the audio log of the Price. Delta Operational Director in charge of personnel, recruitment, evaluation, and placement. Disciplinary Action Report 40C-8, responding to Mars City Administration request. Delta Labs 1 is currently addressing a problem concerning theft of security equipment. Four members to the security detail assigned to the Delta no. Labs have been reprimanded and three others under investigation. Do not. It seems caches of weapons, armor, and ammo have been discovered in various places throughout the Delta Labs. We've located some of the missing equipment and have information that we hope will lead us to more. I have a team investigating storage room 21D with security code 298. 298 21D. may be located. I hope to recover all items and find all personnel responsible. End of log. Anybody catch that? button and all hell's gonna break loose again systems down or not retrieve the data linker to allow delta labs control access <laughs> fuck you when even the floor grates are out to get you That sounds like a pinky demon. So much fucking blood. No, it's just chaos demons. Gotta go down the creepy dark hallway.
Well, yeah, this is more corn demons than, than Nurgle, but there are a couple of them. Just a little bit. What was that? That was his favorite box. Inevitable death. Emergency power only. All Delta operations suspended. Fuck, that elevator's fucked. Stuff keeps hissing at me, and I'm not okay with it. There it is. Actually, I had to pick that item up. Now Nyx is hissing at me, because they can't. feel comfortable giving them tongue yet. Alright, now that I've got the data linker... How many safety procedures or reactor cores do we have to fix? Service Tunnel 1. It's not far from your position. We'll meet there. I don't like how he sounds now. Also, did that have blood on it before? I don't think that had blood on it before. Hello. Finally decided to pop out, have you? Double barrels to the head. Ah.
half of your shit. Warning. Reactor core offline. At least they're large targets. should not be making that noise. Back to here again? Another garage? Fuck. Lost soul. Fucking hate lost souls. Face full of alien ding dong. Warning. Reactor core offline. Please follow safety procedure or your friends are with me now. Trigger, I'm gonna need you to not be a dick for like, I don't know, like a good rest of the game. If we can do that. bit of overkill there.
it going. It takes way too long to kill one of those. Or do you too? Sounds like lost souls. Oh yeah, there's one. As Gallifrey says, ain't so lost no more. Brain sitting there, not doing anything. Dying. Attention, reactor core online. All right. I used your health machine. Delta Authority Reactor Safety. 
to Delta Authority as engineer responsible for reactor upper level maintenance. I feel it necessary to bring the current safety issues to your attention. If you're going to be required to take readings from the upper level while the reactor is online, there will eventually be accidents. I recommend remote sensors be used in these readings and the upper level be closed while the reactor is online. Mr. Mora, your complaint has been filed with Central Authority. They will be handling your case from this point forward. Martian Buddy, become a better person now. Lowest price, free shipping, discreet packaging. Are you sad? We'll make you happy. Are you lethargic? We'll put it, perk you up. Do you lack concentration? We'll help you focus. We carry all brands of the latest bioengineered neurological drugs. Contact you. Our salesperson this week saved 15% off your uh, off our already low advertised price. Thanks from Martian Buddy. Fuck. Can't read today, apparently. I miss having a dedicated melee key. out of ammo, so it won't let me switch to it. Alright, good to know. Sending scrubs against me. Right. Marginally better. Well, you don't roar when somebody's emptying a fucking clip into your face. Again. Figured I wouldn't have authority in there. I have no authority in Delta Authority. Call 
this a trap. See that? That's bait. Not making so many jokes because I'm having to not die. Filing cabinets of the future! The labs too. All right. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. My fingers. Hmm. Uh. Ow. Apparently, my hands are starting to. Not cramp up, but just uh, I'm gripping my mouse too tightly, I think. Also, I was lifting a lot of ladders today at work because stuff had to be done high up. And I, let me tell you, nothing is more annoying than a 14 foot double sided ladder made out of metal and aluminum rather than fiberglass, which is what I'm used to moving around. Biological research. Actually, let's... We're going to drop a save right here. Save game. Uh, and what I'm going to do is we're going to take a quick break, guys. 
Uh, I'm gonna, going to throw up my intermission screen and I'm going to go refill my drink. Well, put more ice in my drink. Um, and I will be back shortly. You guys hang out for a bit. We'll be back probably in about five minutes or so. everybody we are back from our break
not a nice sound at all. Ah. All the blood, all the gore. You, uh, you have fun there. Damn it. Peter Raleigh. Bill Peterson, antipsychotic shipment in today. Dr. Raleigh, just a reminder to let you know that your order of antipsychotics have arrived by pharma arrived from pharmaceuticals. There are quite a few large boxes here, and we are a bit short-handed at the moment. If you could have someone from your department come and retrieve these packages, it would be greatly appreciated. Ben Peterson, UAC Supply Coordinator. Phil Wilson, overburdened. Dr. Raleigh, we are filling up the available infirmary beds faster than we can get patients released. I don't see myself releasing any at all, actually. I'm gravely concerned about where we expect to put more men if the current trend in testing isn't relaxed before we can determine the cause of the psychosis. Sincerely, Medical Technician Phil Willis. Phil Wilson. This is the audio log of Medical Supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated October 29th, 2145. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia, and I have yet to receive any additional data from the psychiatrist back on Earth. Options are quickly dwindling. Approximately 80% of all extraplanar participants exhibit signs of mild neuroses within the first 48 hours after returning from their expeditions. Within 72 hours, 75% of patients exhibit extreme signs of paranoid delusion and violence. We have isolated these cases in hopes of finding the pathogen. We find no biological contaminants that would lead to such drastic changes in cognitive processing. 
It seems that whatever this pathogen is, it attacks higher brain functions and only leaves more basal functions in the lower brain stem. We've witnessed that a high percentage of subjects lose ability for rational thought and communication skills, and then the physical changes become evident. Subjects in this group appear to atrophy. Skin pales, muscles become slack, bone, teeth, and fingernails become almost translucent, making the seams of their former selves. I have never seen anything like this in my career. Our they observations continue. They basically become zombies. This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated November 1st, 2145. Patient 0432, oh, a private like Steve Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division, expired today at 1543 of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. This is approximately 110 hours after his return from expeditionary missions. Hmm. Private Makes Jensen sense. was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. He was the last surviving member of his outfit. Four other squad mates, who also came back with Private Jensen, expired from injuries suffered on that last mission shortly after their return. Before his death, Private Jensen was heard screaming in both English and other languages. Hmm. Something about demon hordes feasting on our souls. The other language was later discovered to be Aramaic. Due to security concerns in the area, I have secured some armaments within my office. Making progress, Marine. Your journey is futile. You will die, and your soul will be mine. Are you sure about that? On fire. Fucking fire. It's and now I'm on fucking fire. I could not resist. Observation room test chain. Rooms on fire. Sorry. Making sure I've got yeah. Making sure I've got things up where I need them. This is just a random piece of equipment. Oh, sir. Oh, thank God. You're not one of them. I thought everyone else was gone. I... I was part of this. I helped them. The madness of opening to another dimension. Look, I, I don't... We don't have much time. We let it through. The evil. The protective stabilizer on the portal just failed after Petruger took the device. It, it was an artifact we had found in the ruins. He took it into the portal. And Hal followed him out. Hmm. You have to help me first. I'm going to try to get the teleporter systems running again. The areas are destroyed around us, so it's the only way through this part of the complex. Interesting. You need to find me a working plasma inducer. It's all I need to get the teleporter working. You can look for it in operations. I have a security clearance. I'll unlock some doors for you. There. We don't have a lot of time. Please hurry. Soul cube. 
Port fired by Ian McDor uh, McCormick. I've been working on the Soul Cube for a few weeks now. It is a fascinating artifact, and as it turns out, it has some amazing properties. I wrote a new glyph pattern query yesterday and let it run all night. With the new query, the linguistics computer finally cracked the remaining glyphs. The Soul Cube is, by every definition, a weapon. It seems to have been built to repel whatever type of creatures invaded this ancient culture. If I am reading them right, during a battle, the cube gains power for each life the wielder takes. When it is fully charged, it can be used to slay even the strongest of creatures. Even more impressive is that when it kills a creature, it transfers that creature's life force back to, to who is using the cube. I know this sounds like magic, and I have been and I have not been able to activate it to prove the theory, but this is what the glyphs illustrate. The glyphs specifically point out that you must kill five creatures before it becomes charged, and then, amazingly, it will tell you that it's ready. It is almost like a sentient being. This object is a fantastic find. Ian McCormick. Sodium plasma inducer. Decontamination process is done. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. At least they said they made it say have a nice day. office research labs. He's feeding on it. And he's still alive and he's feeding on it. shot and you blew it. basically imps that have been, you know, carved up. Not that I'm complaining. You know, I'm shotgunning him all over the place. Well, shut 
shut up. All right. That was done efficiently. Where the fuck did you two come from? Other than hell. I think I know what I'm doing. I think being the key word. There we go. And backpack. Backpacks of ammo are best. It because that's a BFG. Amon systems deactivated. Dr. Raleigh requested military supplies placed in storage locker in case of emergency. Security team member delivered the supplies today and secured them in locker 116. The lock set as 972. Nine, seven. BFG cell!
to see if there's a way I can find access to that BFG over there. be a code. I just don't know what the code is. Awesome glass. Technician Delta Labs, October 20th, 2145. Uh, today I witnessed the third test of the teleporter in the three weeks that I've been here. Volunteers are becoming harder and harder to come by, and it isn't difficult to see why. They all come back screaming like loons about. Bake oven on sale now. Tired of the same old, same old when it comes to snacking? Store bought treats getting you down? Then you need the new Martian Buddy Lil Baklava oven. 
You heard it right. Baklava. How many times have you said, mmm, boy, I could really go for some scrumptious baklava right now. Well, now it's quick and easy and easy anytime. Come to MartianBuddy.com for more info on the new Martian Buddy Lil Baklava of and hundreds of other great products. Remember, Martian Buddy is your buddy. <coughs> Guy Harrelson, good lunch. Hey Frank, you left your lunch on my desk again. Uh, I put it in the storage cabinet number 112. The combination is 538. Try to remember to pick it up. Last time you forgot, it was there for a week. That stuff stunk to high heaven. What the hell you got going? You got in there. As requested, the following is my initial feedback on my first trip through the portal. Private First Class Frank Cinder stated October 15, 2145. I don't know exactly where it began. Obviously, I survived the first trip and feel no worse for the wear. I, I, I'm not feeling any of the symptoms reported by the others who have gone in before me, but I'm at a point where I'm still trying to process everything. Thankfully, the place looks deserted and devoid of any life. But, uh, the flames and the heat and the stench of the place. It smells of death, decay, and burnt flesh. Tomorrow, we're going back in with some of the eggheads, um, science division, to start securing forward positions, and we expect to start sending out the mapping droids at the same time. Story. I must admit on a personal note that I, I, I've got a really, really bad feeling about this. Of course you do. I don't understand what we're doing there or what we hope to prove. TFC Cinders, signing off. Glad I turned around so quick. I thought we were kind of done with this piece for a bit there. Apparently, we are never done with zombies. If there's one thing you can learn from Doom 3, we're never, ever done with zombies. I also find it interesting that Petruger hasn't talked to us in a bit. Well, hey, you're still alive. Excellent. That will get the teleporter working again. And you don't have much time. You're going to need to teleport across the containment chamber. It's the only way through this part of the complex. Head into the chamber and initiate the sequence on the machine. I'll take care of the rest. 
I'm not going with you. Good luck. But before you go, I want you to take something. It's a journal I made about the experiments. Uh, those things. It's all there. It'll explain everything. Get it to someone so this never happens again. Yeah, this is gonna happen again. And again. And again. And probably again. Uh, I'll tell you how he's still alive. He's got a pistol right there. Then arms reach. And knows what he's doing. My name is Sidney McCormick. I am a research specialist stationed on Mars, working for the UAC. My primary job is, or rather, was, to assist Dr. Malcolm Petrou in a variety of experiments.
Delta Labs, level two. Ah, snap, crackle, pop. That last line there, it says all specimens are cataloged and stored locally. I just the, What pops into my head is the Pepperidge Farm commercial. All our specimens are cataloged and stored locally for freshness. Well, I went through absolute hell to travel 10 feet. Alright, good to know. Fuck you, Steam. Not like the service, Steam. I mean actual Steam. <laughs> Alright. Close range chain guns crash. Good to know. So let's start again. Let's see if we can uh, finish. See if we can finish up this mission. We'll see if we can finish this mission and then we'll probably call it a night because we've been going for about two hours now well maybe it was i mean hell i don't know our specimens are cataloged and stored locally for your convenience you remember a time when people just killed demons rather than studying them Pepperidge Farm remembers. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just... Oh, it's fucking up now. again there yeah I know right them some nice pixels you got there. Alright, now we go through another load screen. Uh, 
so Gallifrey, are you gonna paint up some sisters when uh, when they find when the models finally hit? Oh wait, are the sister sister models out yet? I thought they weren't coming out to like the end of next year. Cause I'm planning on doing it. I'm planning on painting everything. Well, plan and you know actually happen is something else entirely. Hinting heavy at what about it? They're not coming out until the end of next year. Yeah. Well, they're. Are they have they released the codex form yet? I know they released an index form. I just don't know because I'm really I'm really wanting to see more of the acts of faith stuff and uh, I want to see what they're like. People keep talking about it, and I'm like, man, I really want to paint these minis. Oh, it's got a re There we go. They will probably release when you're not expecting them to. How was he able to make noise? Theoretically, because he didn't have a head, all that should have done was go... It's crashed again. Shit. Okay. Alright, guys. Um, I think we're actually going to call it there. Because I don't want to have to fight. I'm gonna, I am gonna. don't want to have to fight with this source port on stream. So we're going to go ahead and call it. We're going to call it at that point. Um, let's see. But I do want to say thank you to some people before we go for the evening. Uh, I do want to say thank you guys for joining me. Thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, Nick, Scalifrey, you guys have been active. For those of you who are just lurking, thank you very much. Twitch has got this new thing now where they're not counting like lurks unless you actively like type in the stream every 15 minutes. They're not counting you as a view. I honestly don't care. Like Getting more views is great. But the fact that you guys are here, the fact that you guys are giving me traffic, that's what matters to me. Um, it is Thursday, so therefore we are, we're not, I'm not sure if I'm going to be back Friday or Saturday. I'm going to be busy all day on Saturday. And Friday evening is normally an evening we take off uh, because I might be doing other stuff. And then like Sunday we'll probably be recovering from, uh, recovering from Saturday. Um... To be perfectly honest, I don't, I don't know what what my what it's looking like this weekend because this weekend is, it's um, I work for a football team and so therefore I, it's a big weekend for football obviously, so well technically I work for an athletic department but 
it's a big thing, so I'm going to be busy all day. If I am not, if I am not dog tired or haven't been monopolized by someone else by the time I get home, which should be later on, like late afternoon, early evening, we may jump on and do more spooky stream. If not, I will see you guys on Monday with more Doom. Uh, but I want to say thank you guys for showing up. Thank you guys for being here. Before you go, let's go ahead. Let us see who is streaming. And we will drop a raid their way. Let's see here. There's a lot of people on right now. Let's drop, okay, an old friend of the stream who I enjoy watching and I enjoy following. We're gonna drop a raid on Doozy. He's doing, uh, Doozy is doing Twitch things, so we're gonna drop his way because that's creepy enough. Good night, Gallifrey. I hope you have a very good night. Uh, to everyone else, stay tuned. We're gonna raid Doozy's stream here. Go ahead and queue up whenever you guys are ready, and we'll head right over there. Again, thank you guys for showing up. I hope to see you all very, very soon on Monday, if not sooner.